Pew, 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 pew. Thank you for having me. Thank uh, you. Yeah, I, get, I, I get a lot of flack, eh? <laughs> oh, wait. Sorry, was that monkey's key? Oh, those are beautiful sleeves, actually. <laughs> it's from Star Wars Destiny, actually, yeah, the card game. Times hate this microphone setup. How's that? Pretty sure you can hear me now. Can you hear me now? And everybody else, I'll have to go and sort that out in a second. Okay, well, that was our patron shout out. We'll quickly jump back to the live battlefield. Make sure people can hear stuff. Hold on one second and let me make sure that everybody's getting what they need to get. Everybody say something one at a time. Kuna. Yo. Ricardo. What's up? Yola. Hello. <laughs> there we go. We have audio back. Welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, we've got Kuna Koala visiting from Pokemon Land. I don't know if there is such a place. Is that a thing? Can we call that? Can we make that up? Can we like create Pokemon Land? I mean, sure, let's do that. Why not? <laughs> okay. It sounds like a plan. <laughs> as long as I'm the president or something, then sure. You can be like the prime minister in chief. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I think that works. <laughs> let's uh, let's run around the table starting with run rabbit talk to us about millicent restless revenant or as we like to call her millicent bystander um okay well it's a spirit deck um apparently she makes spirits and so i'm supposed to blink things and make spirits ricardo did a funny flashy thing there he did um yeah <laughs> I, I haven't played this deck so don't know okay well, I have. It's it's gonna do crazy stuff, and you're gonna make a crap ton of spirits, uh, and rebuild your board very quickly. Um, should any horrible things happen to you, Code Monkey, talk to us about Calamax, the Storm Side. This is a precon from Ikoria. Yeah, he's a elemental dinosaur, um, Kelly, and he just yeah. wants to race and copy spells. That is his goal in life. What's and as and if he's tapped um, and I cast my first instant uh, spell, instant yeah, um, he gets to copy it. And when I uh, copy an instant spell, he gets a plus one, plus one. So, so he, he grows get, he while could, he's sleeping. He could get out of hand pretty hectically. Greetings, Aimless RSA. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Mart Mari de Brain. Thank you for letting us know about the audio and welcome to the show. Karuna, you have got Giada, Font of Hope. So without like, yes, missing, I do. we're going to say angels. Yes, it is angels. It makes angels. It loves angels. Uh, it's got, it's a two, two flying with vigies with vigilance. Um, whenever, in, whenever an, another angel enters the battlefield, it gets a plus one, plus one counter for each other angel. So angels who love angels and this angel can tap to summon more angels. So angels, angels and angels. I think, I, I think I'm, I'm hearing the word angels a lot. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, then oh. we have on my side we have Wolfgar of Icewind Dale. Wolfgar is a four-four human barbarian. Uh, he has melee, which says whenever this creature attacks, it gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each opponent you attacked this combat. Then it has a second set of text that says if a creature you control attacking would cause a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So technically, Wolfgar will melee twice at least twice every time so if he attacks he gets plus one plus one and then oh it's a triggered ability so it happens again he gets another plus one plus one uh if i'm attacking more than one person he'll get plus one plus one for each of the people i attack and then oh 
he'll get the same amount of plus ones again for each of the people I'm attacking. <laughs> but it's not really him you want to worry about. It's about the other things in the deck that also say things like, when this creature attacks, this happens. So, it should be kind of fun. I like my wolf guard deck. I think he's a lot of fun. Um, I have a blast with him. I hope everybody's good to go because we are on, we're kind of running against the clock here a little bit tonight. We've only got until 10 p.m. because then apparently Kahuna's uh, power is going to leave us all thanks to Eskom because we love Eskom. Um, Beautifully, yeah. So I hope we're all happy with the hands we've drawn and I hope we're all good to go. We need to do the thing where we, we uh, what do we do? We randomize the play order. That's what we do. We go here and we say randomize and we go here and we say randomize and then we do this. And I believe that it is Run Rabbit to take it away. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. So, everybody cool. else, GG's, and off we go. Uh, just for you, okay, Kahuna, because it's your first time on, on, on Spell Table, when you are finished playing, you will pass the turn by hitting the space bar on your keyboard. I play the Hello Fountain. It comes in tapped, and I pass. Ooh, do you learn to start? Cool. Oh, yeah. Ooh, shot is... Drawing for turn, playing Hellamar Depths. When it uh, enters the battlefield, I get to look at the top three cards of my library, then put them back in any order. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think I'll actually keep it that way. <laughs> and I'll <pause. laughs> keep it that way. All righty, cool. Oh, cool. Draw for turn. We will play a new Benalia when it comes to play tapped, and I get to scry one. And we will leave that boy on top and pass. All right. I will draw for turn. I will do the thing. Play a forest, tap a forest. Soul ring. You know. Oh, had to be somebody who didn't <laughs> target, one target, story. target, top threat, threat, I threat is going to identify. I don't know how long, but here you go. There's my, there's my turn one. <laughs> okay, I'll untap. Draw. I'll play planes. I will tap the planes and play a soul ring. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just me. Tap the soul ring and the hallowed fountain and play a rattle chains. And I know I've got one floating, but I don't need it. And I shall pass. Oh, sorry. Rattle chains is a one. Is a two one. Creature spirit flash flying when it enters the battlefield. Target spirit gains hexproof, but I don't need it right now. And I may cast spirit spells as though they had flash. Wow. Turn two, all her cards are flash. It's happening, <laughs> drawing for turn. I will play an exotic orchard. I will tap two and I will put lightning greaves on the table. Okay. Awesome. Mm. Getting haste. Seems reasonable. Cool. Untap and draw that card that I saw. Uh, we will play a planes for turn. And why not now? We will tap two and bring out the Lady of the Hour, Giada. Yeah. And a pass. So just to go over it again quickly, it's a 2-2 two -two flying with vigilance. Each other angel you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter for each angel you already control. And it can tap for white, and you can only use that mana for casting angel spells. Cool. I'm going to play Mountain. I'm going to tap a Mountain in my Forest and my Soul Ring. And I will play Guardian Project. Guardian Project is enchantment. Whenever a non token oh, creature enters yeah. the battlefield under your control, if yes. it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. Which in Commander is always true. Yes, <laughs> it's always good. So basically, basically, cast a spell, draw a card. Okay, I will play an island. Cast a non creature, non token creature spell, draw a card. Tap my soul ring, tap my planes. I'm going to play Ghostly Prison. Uh -huh. That's an enchantment. <laughs> Creatures can't attack you unless the controller plays two for each creature they control that's attacking you. Wow. Oh my so. word, I hate that. <laughs> We need, to kill it. Kill no, it we need to kill it. Moral of the story. <laughs> hey? We need to kill the angel. The angel's going to be a problem. Yes, you have to kill the angel. We'll kill the ghostly prison in a little bit. But right now, the angel's going to be a problem. <laughs> okay, fine. Move to combat. Have two in the air. 
for I me? Would take it. No, for you, Chris. Uh, I took it. <laughs> I had to take it. Pass. <laughs> so, tapping drawing for turn. The vindictiveness. Well, you know. It's okay. It's alright. Okay. I, I don't I will hold grudges. Play. So you know how last week I was having a problem getting like no mana? And now you just got like mana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will play uh, is it boiler works and bounce exotic orchard back to my hand. Alrighty. And um then I will pass so a very unex unexciting turn. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I'm sure we'll pick up later. Yeah, one hundred percent. No, I, I'm, I'm keeping my eye very close on that deck. <laughs> I will play a planes, and I'll move to combat. And with vigilance, I think I'll swing at the Calamax player. Okay, how much is that? Two, two. Good. Okay, and then post combat, I'll tap Giada for a white. And I'll cast Angel of Condemnation. He comes in with a plus one, plus one counter because I control one angel. And he's now a 4 4 flying vigilance. I can tap three and tap him, exile another target creature and return it so I can blink a creature. And I can tap three, tap it, exert him, and exile another target creature until it leaves the battlefield. Sounds legit. I will draw. Loving the inner sleeves, Crispin. Very yeah, nice. they're very cool. I got them from um, what's his name from uh, Mythic sleeves, Mythic frames. That's what they're called. I'm gonna tap two, tap two red, tap green. Bring out Wolf Guard, draw a card off of Guardian Project. And then I will pass the turn. I will earn Tiffy and draw and oh, it's such a surprise. It's an island. <laughs> oh, hang on. I might be able to play this. One, two, three, four. Uh, no. Three. Well, that sucks bananas. I will pass. Hello, Tapakazi. Welcome. Welcome. Badger says it's good to see Corona. <clears throat> it's good to kind of not see. It's good to see you in chat. <laughs> I will play an exotic orchard, tap all four, and bring out my. Um, Galamax. My Kalamax. And uh, I shall equip my Lightning Greaves suit. Oh. And I shall pass. Okay. Untap. Keep draw. Mm -hmm. Cool. I will. Let's see. Oh, cool creature has a haste and shroud. <laughs> I will play Path of Ancestry, tapped. And let's um, go to combat. Mm. Just asking for a friend. Um, that uh, Ghostly Prison costs two, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Two, I will... two, per, attacking, two, two per creature attacking that player. Two per, per creature, yeah, that's correct. Is that a flyer you have there, Hello? Looks like a flyer, yes, right? Yes, rattle yep. is a flyer. Okay, cool, hundred percent. In that case, <laughs> I'm going to swing four vigilance at Crispin, and then another two at Code Monkey. Hmm. I will take the two. I see what's going on here. <laughs> uh, post combat, I'm going to tap to you and tap to Yada. And I'm going to cast Resplendent Angel. Uh, it will come in with two 1-1 counters. 
It is a 3-3 flying. Well, now it's a 5-5 flying. And when it enters the battlefield or dies, I'm going to exile another creature card from my graveyard. And when I do, I can put a 1-1 count on each creature you control that shares the type with Resplendent Marshal. Sure. So he's a 5-5 for now. And I saw pass. Now we'll untap. Now we'll draw. Yeah, I think we're going to do stuff. I'm going to play Inferno of the Star Mouse. 6-6 six, six Flying Haste. The spell can't be counted. For every red I spend, Inferno of the Star Mouse gets plus one, plus naught. Until end of turn, when its power becomes 20 this way, it deals 20 damage to any target. I draw a card off of Guardian Project. Should we just die now? Yeah. It would be easier. He, uh, he like swung stuff at me. <laughs> it's like your, man. Your, 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 your angels there, Kuna. Sorry? How big are your angels? What was that? How big are they? How We've big? got a 4-4 four, four over here and a 5-5 five, five over here. I'm gonna. I'm not going to attack right now. The attack trigger deck not attacking. Well, the problem is, is that Maybe you have suspicious. three flyers, and they have vigilance, or at least one of them does. <laughs> so, I need to keep something back here to deter you. Fair. Oh, it's me. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I was not paying attention. My bad. <laughs> Ooh. Emily Sorry says this four four and a five five for now. <laughs> <laughs> and Badger says honestly more cards need to say when this creature's power becomes twenty. <laughs> yeah. When this creature's power becomes becomes twenty, you run away. So I've got mirror entity, creature shapeshifter. It's a one-one changeling, and it has pay X until end of turn. Creatures you can all have base power and toughness XX, and gain all creature types. Cool. So that's that little piece of excitement right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass because I I don't want to go hit anybody because I'm gonna have to block. <laughs> How big is your changeling? The one one and the other one? Is a two one. I'm I'm boasting the big guns right now. Bowling. <laughs> okay, drawing for turn. Okay, we'll play Yavimaya Coast. I will attack Yola for four on the ground. <laughs> I'll just have to take the four. But I need two to attack though, yeah? yeah, you gotta pay oh, two. I need to pay. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, oh I, I have to. Yeah, so I'll pay two. Cool. Okay. Badger says cool. changeling. I'm voting for Run Rabbit to win for technically playing a badger creature. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, thank you. <laughs> since Calamax is tapped, and this is my first instant spell, I am playing Decoy Gambit, and I am copying it. So, for each opponent, choose up to one target creature that a player controls, then return that creature to its owner's hand unless its controller has you draw a card. So let's do it the first time. Um, I will target your resplendent angel koala. Oh, the, oh, the, the marshal. Um, yeah, so yes. I can draw a card or you can put it back in your hand. How many cards in your hand right now? 
One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. Um, I will let that happen. Sure, it'll go back to my hand. Okay, awesome. Um, uh, Crispy, your Inferno Titan thing. You can draw a card, buddy. Okay, cool. Feeding. Um, Feed. Run, run Rabbit, your, uh, your flyer. <laughs> Have a card, Ricardo. Have a card. <laughs> okay, cool. So that is the first time it resolves. Now it resolves the second time. I will um, try and send back your commander koala. Um, yeah, why not? See you guys. Go back to hand. Okay, sorry, I forgot to put a plus one for the first Count time. on the cost. Element. Um, okay, uh, Crispy, I'm going to target your Inferno thingy again. <laughs> I'll just bounce at this step. <laughs> Okay, cool. And um, Ryan Rabbit, I'm targeting your flyer again. Remember, your flyer's got flesh. Two. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's Thank you. Back it has got big. <laughs> Didn't oh, take six, very long, huh? Six, six. Okay, oh. and then, um, okay, so I, okay, I did pay, so I'm all monad out, pass the turn. Hundreds, untap, draw, and that was not cool, I'll <laughs> play a planes, let's uh, tap the path of ancestry and the planes for Giada. If it succeeds, I see blue players with open mana. Uh, because I tap Path of Ancestry, I get to scry one. Um, it'll go at the bottom, sadly. Boo -hoo. Not the right time. Not the right time, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'll tap three, and I'll go to recast with Splendid Marshall. So he'll come in with two plus one counters. And I cannot take Yola, but Calamax did some stuff, so coming out to you for Vigilance. Okay, I'll take the four. And that will be me. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Okay. Alrighty, I'm tapping. Drawing a card. Well, now that is interesting. Hey, hey, remember that card I said I wanted to play? Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't have it yet. <laughs> I, was just like, I was picturing myself getting ready for bed already. I was like, well, that's over. <laughs> but Crispin, just imagine, just imagine, imagine that it said right? when... Imagine if when it said when it attacks, cascade, 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 cascade. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty rotten cool. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna tap my soul ring for two and a green. I'm gonna use one of the colorless and the green to play nature's law. I'm gonna search my library for a forest card, which I found, and I get to put it onto the battlefield. Then I got to the shuffle. Which is what I'm trying to do with this really big deck. Yeah, I need bigger hands. Hash hashtag double sleeve. <laughs> anyway, there we go. That's a, that's a fairly decent shuffle. And then we'll cut. Like so. And plop that back there. All right. Then I've still got that one colorless floating. Of which I will use one of them plus this green and a red to cast Garrick's Uprising. I do oh, control nice. the creature nice. with power four greater, so I'll draw a card. I'm pretty sure you said something about 20 power earlier. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but we're not there yet. Um, ah, hot thing. Go away, Christmas people. Oh, do you also have one that's flying around? Yeah, it's like buzzing at my face. Um, uh, I'll pick one that keeps bumping into the walls. Okay, well, I uh, needed that second green. And I've got it, so now stuff can happen on my next turn, but for now, I will pass. Uh, on your end step, I would very much like to tap some mana, like so. Yes. And put down my rattle chains again. Cool. Okay, that's my turn, then I'll untap. And draw. Oh, hello. Uh, also, um, because of Garrick's uprising, creatures I control have trampled. As though they need it. I'm just reading Rattle Chains for the first time. Wow, that is crazy. It's a cool card, right? <laughs> a very <Yeah>. cool card. <laughs> okay. How has this not been a target yet? <laughs> this is a oh. really big Christmas beetle. It's like a mutant. Actually, but I could pay less for that. Huh. Let's do they get bigger way. during Christmas time. It's because they eat more. <laughs> what, what? Uh, drugs well, cavalry yep. creature what? spirit knight flying four. whenever another spirit enters the battlefield under your control you gain two life pay three and a one and put a one one spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield nice. Ta -da. Seems and fantastic. I shall pass this guy well <clears throat> it's not a one one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a one one. So I'm, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> so it's whenever a spirit, yeah. So now you need the drug, uh, yeah. Now you need when, the drug. Whenever skull another reaver. spirit, yeah. Because the drug skull reaver says need whenever what? you gain life, draw a card. Ah, yes, you see, card draw would be nice around now. I, I see Ricardo's tapping down there. Um, yeah, I'm playing uh, Primal Empathy. And it is um, at the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card if you control a creature with the greatest power among creatures. Otherwise, put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature. Yeah. So just slowly yeah. growing you. And then... Oh, oh, no, 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 go away. <clears throat> I shall pass. Passing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked a little bit. I was so waiting for something to happen, and then it didn't. Yes. Okay, this is uh, too uh, awesome. I'll play a planes. Let's um, do some quick math. Six. Math is for blockers. Uh, I know. Math is for blue players. <laughs> Math is for blockers and three. Three. <laughs> three. I'll tap three for decanter of endless water. It's just a thought vessel with a different name. Yeah. Um, cool. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, mm -hmm. and then let's uh, go to combat, shall we? Um, I am very scared of that. Uh, <laughs> that, that drug skull cover is very scary. The, yeah. No, um, it's not. That and the Calamax are looking anything. pretty scary. Yeah, the, the Calamax has got boots, though. It's got greaves, so it makes him a little bit tough. Although, okay, he's on the fly. So, what I'll do is let's see, what are the life turtles looking like? Let's go. Who's higher? Let's go five. At Crispin, and let's go four at Ricardo. Cool. Taking. I get the feeling I'm being Crispin? on. Well, if somebody can do something about the ghostly prison, then maybe. I can maybe do something about uh... the ghostly prison and the freaking greaves. No. Ooh. Ooh. Don't do Everything. it. <laughs> 
tempting. Um, let's let's rather do it this way, rather. Let's go five with the Giada. That's five. And I'll cast Patron of the Vault. Uh, so when he enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one count on each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Nice. I use Path of Ancestry, so I'll scry because he is that thing. Yeah, that can stay on top. These guys are going to go upper counter, and then he's going to get three plus one counters of his own because I control three other agents. Okay. And that's our pass. Board wipes, anybody? <laughs> Gee, it's amazing how my hand has none. <laughs> Play a root blind crag turn. Tap two from the soul ring. Three green, one red. Storm the festival. Uh, what storm the festival again? Look at the top five cards of your library. You may put up to two permanent cards with mana value five or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of the library. In the red order. <laughs> Flashback seven and three green. Okay, cool. Wait, wait. While that's on the stack, I will just pay three and I will play dual caster mage and I want to copy that one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cards of your library. Okay, and then this gets an extra counter. Um, you may put up to two cards with more than only five or less more than one of the battlefield. Okay, top five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that was a fairly horrible whiff. Uh, <laughs> oh, <it's two>. no. <laughs> Did you whiff as well? So I'll get a target yes. mark, demon face. Like mark. one creature, and it is like a, s a seven mana cross. Oh, okay. Targdar, and then a gruel signet. Sucks. Uh, and then I'm going to. Ricardo, you got nothing. You actually got proper whiffed. <laughs> you, you proper whiffed. <laughs> Yeesh. Oh, wait, wait, so wait. Pay it's it's a permanent card, right? To activate my Gruel Signet to make a red and a green, with which I will play Kenrith's Transformation. Oof. On Giada. Lovely. Giada is. Giada a beast. is a 3 3 elf creature. Yeah, with no other abilities. And I get to draw a card. That's because you've been hitting me a lot. Maybe you should have spoken to me and said, I... Hey, what if we did something together about the Greaves and the other thing? We could have, you know, made a plan. But no, had to come hit Crispy in the face. Well... If we could do something about the ghostly prison, I can do. Would... I can do something about the ghostly prison and the greaves. So how about That's you leave me alone that, yeah. for two turns? Because I'm going to take care of two things. Two turns. Okay, I won't attack you for two turns. Thank you. And I will pass. When are you going to do something about it? I thought that was a deal for now. No. <laughs> I need uh, I need the green. <laughs> I need the green. Okay, so I have. And also, I had to take my vengeance for Suji. I had to transform your your flying thingamajig. Make a mistake. Hey. What this now, <gasps> Millicent? Yes, Millicent the bystander who has decided to stand by. Hey? Who is a spirit who triggers spirit. your I dog's do. call cavalry? Yes, I know. I had only just, you know, made my joke about Millicent. Oh, right. Sorry. My bad. 
<laughs> uh, okay, cool. That's cool. Um, so. Uh, also, sorry, I'm supposed to draw a card off of Guardian Project for Tog now. I shall pass. Sure. Interesting. I wonder if this has something to do with angels. <clears throat> um, what is the highest power on the board currently? Probably your Nothing I added seven. Seven. Okay, cool. So I can add another counter on Calamax because of <laughs> primal empathy. <laughs> Then I shall Big play a stomp, stomp. Hmm. Uh, what is the seven? The seven is the patron of the of the valent. Okay, I just want to do something fun. It's not strategic. Kill it with fire. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm going to enchant it with predatory impetus. So it gets plus three, plus three. And it's goaded. It must be blocked if able, and it is goaded. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put it. a. I'm gonna, gonna put this red three over here just to remind me if that's a good. Yeah. So now that is now a beastie that must attack in a con attack. Hundred percent. Okay. Next one. Cool. We'll untap. I'll untap my three three beast. <laughs> yes. You should do that. Troll. <laughs> Troll. How that. does the if if a creature is goaded, how does ghostly prison work? Still if you can't so, play it. Yeah, so, so, so you have to factor that into your play. Yeah. That you it has to be a valid target. So if okay. she was the only other player, then the, the and I didn't have the mana, then they would then be they no couldn't attack. attack, so Yes. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to <laughs> tap one. And I'm going to cast Ephemerate. Oh, nice. Enchanted Alkia. No responses? No. No. So the enchantment blows up and Giada comes back. Oh, sorry, I forgot to play a land. Apologies, just popping down there. Mostres. And then I will keep everything into account here. We are going to tap the Ancestry. That thing and that thing. So we're going to pay three and we're going to cost running out of space a little bit. Right here, it's this Valkyrie and he's a two four flyer. And whenever another angel or cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. As long as you have at least seven or more life than your starting total, creatures you control get plus two plus two. I do not have that, but uh, he does come in with four plus one counters. Sure. Right, just nice. And then we will go to combat and I will tap two for the ghost of prison. And this goaded 1010 is going to come over to Yola. And then um, I said I won't attack Christy. And we may as well attack with. Okay, so Giada will be sick. So we'll attack over here and over here for Ricardo. So that's going to be five plus six to 11 at you, Ricardo. And it's 11, 10. Okay. And it's 10 for the predatory. Okay, cool. So it's just a chump block over there. And I shall pass. Did the 10 10 go to Yola or Crispy again? Yola. Sorry. To Yola. 
I said, did you take it? Oh, she attempted. Oh, cool. I threw a lesser creature in the way. <laughs> that was Here. a good decision. That, that was a good decision. Okay, so I'm going to uphold my end of the deal. I'm pay one, activate my gruel signet for a red and green. I'm going to cast Hull Breach, targeting Yola's ghostly prison and the lightning greaves on your commander recorder. Cool. May I, in response though? Yes. You may. Okay, I would like to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Play Dovin's Veto. Counter tell nice. me. Oh no. I did try. You did? You still, you see the dice over here? You've still got one more turn of. Uh, um, uh, good faith, because I appreciate the attempt. Sorry, but I like you people having to pay more to hit me. <laughs> yeah. I pay two and two. Play unexpected windfall. Oh, that card sounds forest. familiar. I will draw two. Uh, really not what I was hoping for. Um, and create two treasure tokens. Which I am currently riffling through the pack of tokens for. No, no, do not land on me, you silly thing. Oh, so you land on me. You know what? Go up there. Sorry. Crispy, I think of your card draw, you were hoping for a card that rhymes with smash, smash, smack. I was hoping for a card that did something. <laughs> <laughs> so, two treasure tokens. Fine, I'll crack the two treasure tokens for two red, and then I will play three, four for my Inferno of the Star Mounts. I will draw two cards one of Guardian Project, one of Garrick's Uprising. He's got Trampol. <sighs> Thank God I didn't flashback storm the festival. That was really <laughs> crap. <laughs> okay. Um, you've got monstrous things at home. I have a six eight and a five five and a two two. At home. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I would like to say I'm at home, but I'm camping at a home that doesn't have load shedding. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, pass. You'll go, you'll go. Oh, sorry. I was trying to get bugs off my mat. <laughs> Talking about like mat, <laughs> really? the, the mat, the mat from Discord was amazing. It was cool, right? Wow, that was a beautiful mat. Oh my goodness. I was very oh, you've got one. I thought you were going to play with it tonight. Sorry? I thought you were going to play with it tonight. It's your mat. No, but you won it, so you... It's I didn't your mat. win it. Are you joking? I came second <laughs> last. Okay, well, you made them. <laughs> I won. Um, 
whatever, one, two, three, and one, and I will put a one, one white spirit creature token onto the battlefield. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Oh, Earlier yeah. in, in your previous turn, your changeling died, but it died as a spirit and a non-token creature. So uh, it should have triggered Millicent. Oh, that's a good point. Anybody have a problem if I have no. a... Okay, cool. So you have one. One of the spirits are not sick. Yes. yes. But the other one is, and I gain and two life. You gain two life because of the cavalry. Yes. Yes, I just gained two life. But you'll gain two life for the other spirit that came in as well, no? Oh. So right. you'll gain four in total. Righty, righty. You are correct. And that's all. That's it. I have chump blockers again. Yay. <laughs> I'm not going to attack anyone. I'm just going to pass. So, I'm tapping. Keep my points. blue mana open. Ricardo. Yeah. If you do something about that ghostly prison, everything is going that side of the board. <laughs> Just putting it out there. <clears throat> yeah, no, definitely. Just going to put another counter on this. Just want to see. Why do you guys hate me so much? Nobody hates anybody. This is a game of love and friendship. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. And... <laughs> this is more by other means. <laughs> Fine, pick on Yola. It's fine. Oh no! How big are your angels? Can we just have Yola? a look at life totals for a second and see who's been picked on? <laughs> Ricardo's been picked on. Ricardo and myself have been picked on rather heavily. <laughs> no, Yola I just never really was able to jump on. So yeah, otherwise she would have been down. How big are your angels that are not tapped? I have a six, uh, eight, and a five, five, and a two. Oh, two. my word. Yeah. And Crispy, what did you have? I have a six, six flyer, a two, two, and a four, four. If you want to attack to copy something, to do something on another side of the table, I'll be happy to take the damage. This is this is where I'm at now. We are, we are at the politicking stage of this game. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take yeah. a smack from the dinosaur, as long as whatever you do isn't coming my way. Okay. Yeah, but shame. I also don't want to kill crispy stuff, and I can't do anything about the Gregosley prison, which sucks. Um. Okay, but yeah, thank you. I will take you up on that offer. I'm hitting you for eight. Eight. I will take my first damage of the game. Eight it is. Cool. And that's eight commander. And I will just... Eight commander. I don't know how to do that on you. Uh, you just click you on where it says your mm -hmm. commander's name. Four. And then you can allocate damage from the player. Okay. Then I will play to dig for something to deal with that chem chemistry's insight i will play uh, um, ghostly prison i'll play chemistry's insight copying that so i've put a plus one plus one on calamax so i draw oh, two cards that's busted and then i draw another two cards ah four lands how awesome is that <laughs> um, <laughs> oh dick honestly this one is a jump start. Jump card. start yeah. A jumpy. And okay. And then again. I will pass. <laughs> Passing. So untap. Upkeep. On upkeep, I will be rebounding the ephemerate. So I get to cost it for free in my upkeep. So I'll be targeting the patron of the Valent. So it bounces. So your enchantment is gone, Ricardo. And this will okay, read this one. Yeah. That's it. So there's a few things. So if I'm not mistaken, the magic players, you know, more than I, I get to choose the order you of my ETVs, correct? Yeah. 
Cool. So the first trigger is going to be Giada. So he'll get one, two, three, four plus one counters. Sure. The second trigger will be his own, which puts a plus one, plus one counter on each thing that has a plus one, plus one counter except himself. Yep. So that goes up to three, that goes up to four, that goes up to five. And then lastly, the writer's Valkyrie, uh, an angel entered. So I gained life equal to his toughness, which is eight. So I go back up. Nice. Very even that. 40. 40. At, at, at went according to plan. <laughs> I will draw for turn. Ooh, I was waiting for some of these things. Sorry, Hold on, but I want to attack. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can do. I can attack with three things. She's got chumpers. Um, so the one, two, mm, oh. Man, that is that is a terrible card. Yeah, we'll we'll do it this way. I'll play four, tap four, and I'll play Court of Grace. So on ETB, I become the monarch, which of course I will not have a monarch token because I haven't got this card out while playing this deck. I will just the pink sleeve is the monarch if that is okay, guys. It's okay, you've got the monarch. So... Um. Oh, awesome. Great. So, for those who don't know, Court of Grace, at the, when it enters, I become the Monarch. At the beginning of my upkeep, I create a 1-1 Spirit Creature token with flying. If you're the Monarch, you create a 4-4 White Angel token with flying instead. So, that's just going to chill out over there. And then we are going to go to combat. I'm going to tap 2 to allow me to do something. And I'm going to swing the oh. Sorry, seven this. seven at Yola. Okay. And Crispy, you got a flyer now, right? And you said you wouldn't attack me this turn. I did. I did. You're right. You still got one turn. My humblest apologies for that uh, embarrassing act. I will just swing two at Carter. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. So there's a seven seven coming your way, Yola. I will jump. Chump with a one one spirit. Because that's what happens. And if I'm not mistaken, the monarch you draw at the yeah. end of the turn, you right? Draw a card at the end of yeah. The turn. Yeah. Cool. Drawing it is. And that's me. Hit that space ball. Oh sorry, my apologies. I thank you. I'm untapping all this stuff. I'm drawing this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm going to play Violet Thicket as my land for turn. It allows me to do all kinds of funky tapping for things. It's a really cool artwork on that final ticket. Okay, so if I tap that for colorless and tap this for two, tap that for two, that's one, two. And then I need one, two, three. So this means I've got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm flashing back. Storm the all. Please, God. Sounds too good. <laughs> okay. So I will put those at the bottom of my library. 
And I will place onto the board Goldspan Dragon. Oh, oh nice. Which is flying in haste. Uh, it'll trigger oh, Guardian okay, Project. Okay. Uh, no, these happen at the same time. So it's Goldspan Dragon, Circle of Dreams Druid. I will draw three cards. I will draw two off of Guardian Project, one off of Garrick's Uprising. Aimless RSA asked, was that the second time you're flashing it back? Okay, I think buddy. he's getting confused with the, the copy that, uh, yeah, no, that I, Calamax I, I, I did. I played it once. I played it once, Ricardo copied it, and this is the first time I'm playing the yes. flashback card, so it's now exiled. I can't play it again. I think I think the copy made people confused. It's quite possible. I know it confused me. Um, Um, who's willing to take a hit? I will. I've got 42 life. <laughs> <laughs> you have hit me before. Goldspan mm -hmm. Dragon hit you for four, create a treasure token. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is treasure token. So, so nonchalant. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> it's only life. <laughs> then I will crack my treasure token because the gold span dragons in play. I get to crack it for two of any one color. Two. So I'm going to crack it for two green. And I'll tap a red. And I'll play Tayu Bearclaw. Oh, sorry. I actually made f two treasure tokens because of Wolfgar's ability. So I still have one treasure token left. Uh, Tayu Bearclaw comes in. I draw a card off of Guardian Project. Tayu Bearclaw is very cool with your commander. Wow. It's yes. very nice. Then I'm going to <sighs> I have three mana that I can use. My name, yes. Yeah, why not? I'll crack that for green and pay this green and just tap out to put down my Jade Orb of Dragon Kind. Jade Orb of Dragon Kind is an artifact that says tap it to add a green when you spend this mana to cast a dragon creature spell that enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it and gains hexproof until your next turn. I was very scared for a second, Crispy, because a uh, spell table on my side picked it up as Armageddon. <laughs> no, not quite. I, I wish, because that would help us a lot. Anybody with a board wipe would be great. <laughs> Are we getting for lands though? Oh, okay, yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> Although technically, in my case, not because I'm discarding and I'm discarding a mountain and passing. <laughs> Come on, Yola, you know you want to board one. Well, no, Aww. not really. But you got the cool one. You what got I the got one. was that. Ah, scry. So I get to. Right. Oh. 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 Honestly, something I could play would be nice. Um, I mean, you, you can know, play lands. I did, and I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all that land I needed last week. Ta da! You're getting it this week. <laughs> I am. Apparently, I am like the land queen. You should play well, a land. The, at the deck. Uh, highest power on the board uh, currently, probably like eleven or something. Yeah, no, it's definitely uh, something on uh, a koala's board. <laughs> I have got a, a eight eight. Eight eight. 
Awesome. Yeah. So I have the highest power feature <laughs> on the board. <laughs> <laughs> so no more cards. So for happy you. about it. It's like, yeah. I got the highest. So I'll draw a card for him, draw a card for that. Cool. Then I'm going to play a land for turn. Okay. Can't do much. I'm just going to play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and play Gen Ill Ill Illuminatus. It is just a three five flyer. And each instant and sorcery spell I cast has replicates. Four, five, six, seven. And I'll pass the turn. Cool. I'll tap. Make a four, four. Upkeep. It's a four, four with more. So four, four ETBs. It is indeed an angel. So it will come in with one, two, three, four, five, plus one, plus one counters. It is a nine, nine. And because it is an angel that entered, I gain nine life. So all your creatures get plus two, plus two. That is correct. And I draw for turn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All good angels go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that? Where did that come from? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let me just see. Oh, that makes me very scared. I'm going to attempt to cast Safara Sky's Blade. Oh, I nice. have no responses. Me neither. <laughs> Blue players. Okay. No, unfortunately not. Cool. So on ETB, a few things happen. I'm going to scry one first. Uh, we can put that at the bottom. And then it is one, two, three, four, five, six. So you'll get six one one counters. And then I will gain 13 life. Sure. So what I've got up to 62. And it says it's a, now it's a 13-13 flying lifelink and other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. So oh, nice. So on that note, <laughs> um, it's a free for all. Do you have any flyers, uh, Ricardo? Um, only my general illusion in the list. It's a 3-5. A 3-5. Okay, so let's go. What are we working with here? We go this way at Ricardo. Okay, what's and the we, total? And we go this way at Crispy. So it is for you, if you had to block the highest Ricardo, which would be the 10 10, you would be taking nine plus nine, so you'll be taking 18. Okay, cool. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chris, this one actually can't attack. I think this was the one that came in on the upkeep. Yeah. So, Crispin, this is for you. It is a 4-4 four, four and a 8-8 eight, eight Vigilance Indestructible. Take the 8 and block the 4-4 four, four with the 6-6. Six, six. Okay, cool. They bounce. You take the 8, and then at my end of my turn, I am the Monarch, so I draw a card. And I pass. Cool. I will untap. I will draw a card. Pray for a board wipe. Oh my gosh! It's not a board wipe. It's a board wipe. Oh, it's not a board wipe. <laughs> okay. But it's uh, it's a thing. 
Well, things good. No? Yes, no? Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's good for us. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Oh, I don't mind. It sounds like it's good for him. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta check something. Just, just quick. I gotta check one thing. Hold on. <laughs> Pulling up the compendium there. It's like not like we're going anywhere. <laughs> not for another 47 minutes. Although that is why it is a laptop. <laughs> Okay. Your death by XCOM is always bad. Yeah, no, no good. Okay, I'm going to tap my circle of dreams, Druid. Creating one, two, three, four, five, six green mana. I will then tap my soul rings. That's, hold on. five I will pay one to make two so, <laughs> are you following your because we're getting me. load shed at 10 as well <laughs> oh, you better hurry up then <laughs> I'm trying hold on okay so that's seven I don't want to get load shit at 10. No, I actually have work to do. No. Eight, nine, I'll be back in a sec. Ten. I mean, if you kill me, just let me know. Oh, I don't know. But you guys have a, have a Jamie, right? Or not? Yeah, but uh, can we afford to put fuel in it right now? No. Oh, crap. No, <laughs> no that's true. Okay, so I've generated all this mana. <laughs> and I'm gonna play quarter calling for ten. Ooh. Search your library for a nice. creature card with converted mana cost X or less and put it onto the battlefield. I wonder what card I've got. Oh, would you look at that? God, the one you've been waiting for. Da -dum, da -dum. How fun would this have been if I was going to live through the next turn? So what did you do with all that mana? Oh, you're going to see now. Oh, okay, cool. Shuffle so I just went to go put my phone on charge. Okay, so I used all that mana. The Court of Calling for the one and only, the almighty... I actually am the originator. Can you believe it? I said it's all I wanted to do tonight. Apex Devastator. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. 10 10. Cascade, so, uh, cascade, cascade, cascade. Multiple cascade, cascade, cascade. cascade instances of cascade, each trigger separately. So we'll do the first one. I get to cascade <laughs> for nine. Signet. I will pl okay first well first thing that happens sorry before that happens enters the battlefield draw two cards I get to draw two cards then I cascade for nine that's not it's not it neither is that this and nothing this is nothing oh goody it's a bard class <laughs> well that cocks that up doesn't it I guess I'll cast it. <laughs> <laughs> then put these on the bottom. So now does the cascade trigger go onto the bar class or still on the Apex Devastator? It's on the Apex Devastator. It's on the Apex Devastator. Devastator. Because yeah. each each of them yeah. trigger separately. So he drew an archive. Third cascade oh, trigger. another rock. Cultivator of Blades, I will draw two cards. Uh, when uh, Fabricate, when this creature enters the battlefield, put two plus one plus one counters on it or create two one one color. I will put two plus one plus one counters on it. Thank you ever so much. Wow, there's not enough space on this table. 
Uh, mm -mm. And then I'm on my last cascade trigger and I will go. Wait, no, I seem to have lost something. Signet. Signet. And we get the Dragon Cultist, legendary enchantment background. Commander creatures you own have at the beginning of your end step. If a source you control dealt five or more damage this turn, create a 4 4 red dragon creature with flying. Nice. Oh. <laughs> so we're just going to try and put everything around the place. Uh, hold on. I drew one extra card than I was supposed to. Wait. Hang on. If I drew one extra card, then that should be there. Because this doesn't have power four. So it shouldn't have triggered Garrick's Uprising. Which means we're on the last Cascade trigger. And it's an Eternal Witness. Which will draw off of God. I so I'd get it anyway. When it enters the battlefield, I'm going to turn target card from my graveyard to my hand. Well, now. Hmm. I think I'll get that hull breach. <laughs> all righty that was cool that was some stuff happened that was a lot oh, of stuff hey. that happened. wow stuff happened. Your, your smoke coming from my cool. brain um all righty what okay 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 <laughs> seven so i can make seven mana what can i do with seven mana you can send three creatures at me wow that would <laughs> that would be cool <laughs> what have you got at home there uh mr angel man I've got a 1313 flying lifelink, and then I have a 99 flying indestructible. A is it attacking? Oh, they just get sorry. So it's an 1111 flying indestructible, a 88 flying indestructible, a 44 flying indestructible, and a 1515 flying lifelink. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. No, you might as well come hit me because, you know, I've got a 4 4 4 4 2 1 and a 1 1. 4 4 4 4 4 4 2 1 and 1 1. Yeah. Or you can just keep them all at home. Well, I mean, the, the point is that unless we can get rid of 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 what's her name the angel that's making them all indestructible there's nothing we can do that's and very this true a, this is an example i'm doing the land. you know there's literally nothing we can do i literally hear crickets <laughs> yeah they are to do it here <laughs> I mean, I've got all the right things to do stuff, but, I, you know, it's just not going to happen. Well, you know, maybe I'll draw something. Who knows? There can't only be land in this deck. No, there's <laughs> yeah. definitely not only land in the deck. The problem is, is that even well, the board wipe's not going to help us because when the board wipe resolves, all the other angels are still indestructible. Oh, true. Well, you never know. I mean, I might be able to pull a something. Yeah, that would be good if you could. So I will instead. I said I could make some mana, right? Mm -hmm. You said that, if I remember Let's correctly. Do that. We're going to go two of the colorless. Uh, one and mm, two and three and four leaving that one up right there. uh oh no uh, we'll leave those two up if 
expect we would not do that. We'll do that and leave that up and tap that for a green. To <laughs> cast our savage Ventmore. He's a 4 4 flyer, so I draw two cards. Also comes in with an extra plus one, plus one counter on it, and he's hexproof until the end of my next turn. Are you actually joking right now? What, did you just the use all the mana and now you got me? I mean, seriously. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so, so next week everybody's playing landfall decks, then, yeah? It would appear that we. Oh should. no! Whenever we do that, then we get no land. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. Last week, luckily, my deck worked on six mana, so I was fine. But still. Okay, I'm just, um, I'm not going to do anything. I'm moving to our end step and I am past the turn. I'm, I've got to discard some cards, so I'll do that while you're going. Okay. It didn't go. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, untap the one and only card I had tapped. Oh, hey, okay. Well... One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Drog Skull Reaver. Nice. A Reaver. What's the Reaver? Well, now, and got now the, we're going to do stuff. Now you got the. the so the, I gain. The loop. Yeah, well, so I gain two life because spirit. I'm discarding four lands, a dragon cultist, and you meet in the tavern. Uh, and that's all that happens. Yes. 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 Okay. So, if I know that whenever I gain life, draw a card. I just gain life. Yes. So, you draw so I will draw a card. So. <laughs> this is so not helpful. It's just so not helpful. None of it is helpful. <laughs> right? That's how I feel about everything right now. Despite the fact that I got to play a Devastator and that was fun. Yeah, I haven't gotten to play anything that's fun yet. Um, unfortunately, that's it. That's all I can do. Okay, so we die. Mm, probably. Okay, so upkeep. Untap. Upkeep. I'm going to make another 4-4. Four, four. And this 4-4 four, four will come in with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one counters. Which means I gain 11 life. So, ooh, what happened? 73. Oh, that's one too many. And then draw for turn. The problem is I don't have enough to finish this either. So this is kind of just this weird limbo. Okay, let's put this over here because you're sick. And um, let's see, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Hmm. There's so much going on on your board, Chris. I'm like, I don't even know where to start and where to end. You've got two flyers, yeah? Three. Oh, yeah, the Savage Red as well. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. So, let's uh, do the thing. It's I'm going to swing out at you, Crispin. Yeah. But without the Safara. Wait, in fact, hold on. Give me one second. Uh, yeah, I will... Also swing with Safara. So I'm swinging with all the goodies. So what is the total? Um, so outside of the top three, right? So he's a biggie, he's a biggie, and six, seven, eight. He's a biggie. So you would be taking these four if you block the three biggest, which would be... That is nine plus nine is eighteen 
plus, yeah, uh, I would be enough to, to take you down to zero. So I guess that's that then. And I would just, with the Sephora, I would gain hmm. 13 life. So i tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah. How big is she? A 13. I will triple You're going block. To block the call. Fair. And In response. To everything else. I'll tap two and I'll play Sajiri so Shelter. Target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice. So I'll give it proper red. I tried. So she, so she lives. A yeah. valiant attempt. <laughs> I will also go to my second main. And I'll tap six and I'll cast Twilight Shepherd. Um, not the trigger says when it enters play, I get to return all cards from the graveyard that went there this turn, which is the Sajiri Shelter. Um, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll get eight one one counters, and then I will gain another 13 life. So I go up to 99, and at the end of my turn, because I'm the monarch, I draw a card. Right to you, Yolo. Yay. I foresee a very short turn in my future. Well, my present. Ta -da. Well, that's not helpful either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh. You know what? I'm just going to attack you with everything. You can block everything and then we'll say I'm dead. Fair Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, sure. <laughs> I, I do have, I'm sure I have enough to block one, two, three, four. I think I'll be taking one of them. Yeah, so, you know, oh. I'm, re I'm dead. So, congratulations. Well done for winning. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that was a crazy chess game. Oh, my soul. Yes, it was. That was insane. <laughs> you know what? There's got to be an, a quick way to do this. Well, uh, click on well done, dude. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, there we have our guest, Kuda Koala, taking the win. Beating the crap out of everybody with these angels. Yes, they were very cool. Yeah, well done. Cool. They sucked. Now I start getting spells. That's not fair. Now the deck actually stops giving me mana and I start getting stuff. I mean, look at that. That was like a whole crap ton of stuff. Well, this oh, is well. what I had in my hand. <laughs> Maybe next time. Wow, you had stuff in your hand. I had nothing. I had land. <laughs> <laughs> I had good, good land. Good. Like, I, just, so I got, I got totally the game, guys. Like, flooded just when I didn't need to get flooded. But isn't that always You're... the case? It's like, thank you so much for coming here. I have some land. Yeah, it was like, oh, <laughs> awesome. I just like, I literally drew like four or five lands, one after the other. It was just like, wow, that's exactly what i needed <laughs> but anyway that was good fun kuna thanks so much for joining us man thank yes, you so thank much you. for having me it was a lot of fun um definitely enjoyed myself sorry that some of the other decks couldn't get going but um <laughs> it was a really cool game nonetheless yeah i know it was good fun calamax was looking scary so it's probably a good thing we got rid of that yeah yes. I, I know i know it can do things yeah yeah, I can. But that's also, now we miss load shaping. You know, now we can stop before we get hit. Kind of. Yeah. Anyway. 
Alrighty, well, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for the chats. Thanks for everybody being there. And we'll catch you again on Monday on the Egg Bod. We're going to be chatting to Ryan Uren from Protea Potch because next weekend is the first National Commander League regional qualifier and it's happening in Potch on Saturday and then at the Warren in Cape Town on Sunday next week. So the 19th in Potch, the 20th in, at the Warren. Um, those are going to be fun. Kuna, you should get yourself over to the Commander League regionals. I definitely want to try and get there. I plan to be there. Yeah, it's at, it's at the Warren. It's on Saturday, and it's going to be an absolute blast. It's 160 bucks gets you a ticket in if you didn't qualify. You can still get in there with the chance to win some of the cool prizes we got up for grabs. Uh, even if you go there and win on the day in EDH or CEDH, that does qualify yeah. you for a ticket for the finals. So, uh, yeah, get out there and, and see what you can do. Uh, but if you didn't qualify for the regional, it's 160 bucks a ticket um, with some really cool prizes up for grabs um, that uh, our amazing partners Unplug Yourself have helped us put together. So, so that stuff will all be down there waiting. Also, some very funky play mats for top four. So top, well, technically, yeah, top four. It says top eight on the mats or something. I think it says regional top four, or regional, regional top four. Uh, and well, the reason we're saying that is because it'll be one match for EDH, one match for CDH places. So first place EDH and CDH, and then second place EDH and CDH will each get a mat. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the way the budget worked out. Otherwise, we would have loved to give mats to everybody, but we can't. Um, but yeah, yeah it's uh, like I said, so Potch on the 19th, uh, the Warren in Cape Town on the 20th. Get yourselves down there. Until then... Uh, thanks everybody for playing really appreciate your time thanks for taking time out of your lives to come and have some fun with us and uh, everybody else out there we will catch you on the egg pod on monday night where we talk to ryan about what's going down in potch and uh and i think that's just about it and i'm running out of things to say and everybody say bye hi cheers there we go good night y'all thank you for watching well done kuda <laughs> <laughs>